All right, we have reached one of my favorite points in the in the NFL calendar. The end of mock draft season. I'm so fucking glad. More than ever, um, I'm just glad that we're only a couple days away from not having to see any mock drafts again for a long time. I hate them. I'm sorry. I, I, know, I know people are into this shit, but I find... I find it just absolutely nauseating how many posts and comments I have to see about mock drafts, how mock drafts are treated as news stories. Uh, it's just, it's just awful. <laughs> Especially since every mock draft is going to be wrong within like 10 picks at most. But yes, it is draft week. Uh, draft begins tomorrow. Um, and carries through the weekend. Um, Vikings have pick number 12. And then, uh, you know, kind of the usual slate of picks. We don't have a fourth rounder because we gave that up for Chris Herndon, who I guess ain't going to be here next year. <laughs> Thanks for that. So that, that trade ended up being a complete waste of time. But, um, you know. I guess I'm going to do like a preview. I don't know. Like I'm not previewing it. I'm not going to preview it in the sense of like, here's my prediction of who they're going to pick. Cause I don't fucking know who they're going to pick. Like I've said, I've tried to ignore the mock drafts, but I've seen enough of them that I kind of, you know, you see enough name, certain names over and over and over, you know, there's a couple cornerbacks who have been, who've been talked about a lot for the Vikings. There's that center, that one center, um, Lind Linderbaum or what Linderman or whatever the fuck his name is. Um, he's been talked about, they've even, there's even been talk, maybe a receiver. Um, I, I don't see, I don't see them taking a receiver. Like I, 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 like I know, um, you know, that they're going to, they're going to want to have a lot of diversity on the offense, but I don't, I don't see them taking a receiver. We got Jefferson. This could, could possibly be feelings last year, but we're not, I don't think, I don't see us taking, you know, you know, not at pick 12. I don't see us taking a guy who's going to be, you know, oh, well, he's going he's gonna to be a, a key part, you know, down the road. No, I think they're going to draft somebody who they want They want to be good now, and they want to be a key part of the team now. Um, so just in general, you know, after, you know, watching how they've approached the offseason, you know, and of course this is new regime, so it's everything's a little different. How they've approached the offseason, I th I definitely think, you know, and it's been a it's been kind of the running joke for years. I I don't like the joke because I think this position matters a lot, and so you should draft that position, you know, high, you know, frequently is the cornerback. Um. Now I think we're gonna need, we we still need some cornerback. <laughs> we still need it. We still probably need at least one, like plug him in cornerback who's going to be a big contributor week one. We got Pat P, we got Dancer, we got the um, Sullivan, um, you know, we've got a couple other young guys, but we need, we need another like high end type talent. Um, and there's been a couple names out there. I'm not going to repeat the names because, you know, they're just names. I don't know. That's, that's, that's the thing I hate about the fucking mock drafts. It's like these people, these, these people love to obsess for months about all these these prospects. Like, you know, what do we what do we got? Like eight picks or something as of now in the draft. Like we not we might only have like, you know, we might only have a draft class of, of seven or eight guys out of hundreds of guys that these people want to talk about. Um, but you know, like my thing is, it's, it's always going to be best player available at a position of need. So there's a few positions that we don't, I don't, that we're not taking a fucking quarterback in the first round. And if we do, I'm going to be really fucking mad because, you know, I just, I don't, I don't see why they would do it. I just, I would be really fucking baffled unless there's like a trade down situation. And that's a, that's certainly a possibility is they might trade down, um, you know, and gather some more, gather some more picks. Um, of course they had to, Quasi did a press conference the other day, you know, kind of like the pre-draft press conference, and he had one quote about, you know, 
there was one quote out there. He talked about seventh round picks, like, you know, no amount of seventh round picks can equal the value of a first round pick. And people took that as like, oh, he's taking a shot at Rick Spielman. Like, he doesn't care about Rick Spielman. <laughs> it's like, he just, he doesn't care. And I don't think, I don't think Spielman would, would care. I don't think, I, like, I, that's another one of those, one of those things that just became a running joke over the years is the, you know, Spielman gathering the seventh round picks. It's like, he wasn't gathering seventh round picks at the expense of a first round pick. But, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what Quasi's going to do. Like, this is a whole new, whole new regime. I don't know. Is, are they going to really strongly prioritize, you know, trading up more? Like, we didn't trade up that often in the uh, in the Spielman era. Um, like, we traded up to get Teddy, and we traded up to get Cordero Patterson. Um, but uh, that that. You know that's about it for the for the significant trades. For most part, we were trading down. Like a couple years ago, we traded down multiple times, and you know, obviously last year we traded down a little bit. Like that that was more his his thing. I don't know that we're gonna see that. There might be more trading up. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's it's a it's a mystery, and I'm 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 very uh, interested in seeing how the how the the new guys approach this. Um, but. You know, it sounds like he's definitely prioritizing, you know, you know, front end of the draft talent. And you kind of worry about those sixth and seventh rounders later. Like, like not, not, not that you just don't care about them because you can find players there. But I don't think, I don't think the priority is going to be like, we're going to, we're going to show them where they're going to find the, we're going to find the diamonds in the rough and, and we're really going to, you know, make our, make our uh make our stand there so um so back to like the in just in general what i'm looking for like definitely cornerback is a huge need i think you know i don't think they go first round safety but cer certainly a safety might be a need i mean like i think i'm okay if they just roll with smith and bynum but they might not want to do that. Um, you know, you know, pass rush is always a thing. You know, linebacker. Really, every every ap aspect of this defense still could use, you know, an infusion of talent. Because um, we've got some young guys who, you know, were were kind of we were kind of hopeful about over the last couple of years, and they didn't really pop it maybe they maybe they didn't pop because Zimmer wasn't letting them pop um so they they could have some guys there some of the young guys you know that they that they like and they want to you know give more of a more of a chance to but we're that I you know you know let's say we let's say we finish with eight picks I wouldn't be surprised if if five of those picks are on defense on offense, obviously, look, we're not taking a fucking quarterback. I wouldn't be, like, 100% shocked if we took a quarterback in the middle rounds. But the thing is, if we do take a quarterback in the middle rounds, what, you know, what does that mean for the guys behind Kirk? Like, are they just going to give up on Kellen Mond right away? Are You know, are they going to, you know, are they going to literally keep Sean Mannion on the roster over Kellen Mond? Like... You know, I just, you know, I just don't see a quarterback being taken. There's going to be people who probably are mad that if we don't take the quarterback, because, of course, the, these are the same people who fucking hate Kirk and have wanted Kirk gone. But, you know, that ain't going to happen. Uh, you know, like, again, I don't think, I don't, I don't really see wide receiver as a big need. Suppos supposedly, if you listen to the people um, who are into this stuff, it's a pretty deep draft for receivers. So you could maybe get someone in the middle rounds. Certainly, we've gotten guys in the middle rounds before. Um, but I think you know, we got we got JJ, we got Thielen, we got Osborne, Amir Smith, Marset. You know, certainly showed at the end of the season that he he's got a shot. Um, so I don't think that's a big need. Running back is not a big need. Um, they might you know, they might bring in somebody as as a late round guy. I mean this. Could be Madison's last year, so maybe you bring someone in. But I mean, we got Wang Wu. Who I think they're going to be able to get a get a lot of use out of this year. Um, tight end might be a, tight end might be a 
you know, of all the like the skill positions, tight end is probably the biggest position need because you got Irv Smith, but he's had injuries. So, you know, behind him, you know, you got you got some young guys, a lot of unproven guys in there. You know, there's that one free agent we signed, Munt or whatever. Like we don't have a whole lot there, so maybe they're, you know, I'm sure I'm sure they want to have like multiple tight ends who can actually do something. So there could be a tight end, um, you know, not first round, but maybe even maybe even second round if somebody's there who they like. Um, you know, and then the offensive line is always a it's 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 the evergreen uh, need. Obviously, there's there was been a lot of talk lately about the center position. They, I think I think that was this week they officially didn't pick up the Bradbury. Uh, fifth year option, which no one is surprised about because Bradbury has been a bust and I'm sorry, but he has been, you know, they're going to, they, they might try to run it back one more year just in case, you know, he can, he can kind of show that he can perform better in a different system. Um, and you're not going to be able to trade him for anything. So any problem, I don't know what cutting him would do. But, you know, that probably would just give you a bunch of dead cap. So he'll, he'll probably be here. Um, but you know, certainly drafting a center wouldn't be a shock, maybe even a first round center. And I know like, that's the thing you, 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 there's that one center that's been talked about and people are like, you just drafted a center in the first round. You can't draft a center again. That's a real bad way to look at it. Cause you know, say, Oh, you drafted this position and he busted. So you can't draft this position in the first round anymore. That's ridiculous. Of course you can. <laughs> You, you can draft any position in the first round, basically, except for special teams. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's, I suppose if this one particular center is there, maybe maybe they grab him, but I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they drafted a center. Obviously, guard is also a thing. We're still, we still, you know, they've got guys to compete for, for, uh, for right guard, um, but you know, obviously, if, if you know, if they have a shot at getting someone in a an early round who's who's got a shot, they'll draft someone. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we drafted even a couple guards. Um, tackles, I don't think we need. Like like, Darisaw, you can I, he's showed enough um, last season that you know, you know. You know, you maybe can't put him in permanent marker for years to come, but you can you can start, you know, you can use pen and put him in. Um, and O'Neill is obviously locked in. Now you need you, know, you need depth, you need backups, but you're not going to draft a guy in like the first round or second or third who's probably barring injury just going to be a backup. But you know, you do you do need depth, so that I would be surprised if they maybe grab a tackle some point in the draft um but uh yeah i think i don't think this is gonna i don't i don't see this as being like a sh this is gonna be like a showy draft for the vikings i just don't i think you know you know a lot of it's gonna be depth and and um you know i think at the top of the draft i think they're gonna you know i think they're gonna go defense um and I think if, you know, there's a couple of these cornerbacks who have been, see, I hate that I even really like referring to the mock drafts, but I've seen, I've, I've just, just by osmosis, I'm seeing all these things and hearing all these things and they get in my head. Um, a couple of these cornerbacks that have, have been talked about, if either one are there, I would just go ahead and take them. Like you need a cornerback. You need, you need some, you need a young cornerback. You, I mean, you got Pat P back, but you don't have a lot of like, you know, future cornerbacks, future D-backs, and, and that's a position that's always worth taking. Um, but, you know, I'm going to be interested. It's going to be an interesting one to watch because, you know, it's kind of just like with the approach of the offseason. Like, you, over years of Spielman, you kind of get familiar with kind of what the approach is going to be. And so you can kind of predict it. This isn't as predictable, you know, we, we could see a trade up. I mean, there was, there has been, I mean, there was just one of the, one of the NFL reporters was put some out there the other day. That's like, that 
the Vikings might be interested in moving up in the draft. And I don't know who that would be for. Um, but, you know, maybe maybe they do that. Maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe this will be a year where we'll just dump all the late round picks and just and just really, really focus on those first few rounds. We don't have a fourth rounder, so maybe they'll try to move up and, then, and get, like, you know, someone in there. I mean, I don't know what. It, I, ultimately, there's not that much of a difference between, like, a sixth round pick and a college free agent. There really isn't that much of a difference. And I think that was one of, you know, I, I never got into the into the mocking spielman for the for the seventh round picks and the late round picks, you know, kind of collecting them. Um, but you know, you you're not you're not likely to to find that many, <laughs> you know, starting caliber players in the sixth and seventh round. But maybe you can, maybe you can in the fourth and fifth round. And how you get extra picks there is how you is you get rid of these other picks. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know why I'm even previewing it because I don't fucking know, and I don't have I don't really have thoughts on particular players. I just don't. I don't. I don't know. I just it doesn't it doesn't interest me to like investigate and learn about players who will never be on this team. And I don't really care about the thirty one other teams and who they get. You know, I don't care. Like, I don't give a shit who Jacksonville is going to take them out with the number one pick. I don't care at all. I care about who the Vikings are going to take. Um, but I would think, you know, I would I would still think we're going to go primarily defense because I think I th I think the in, the team seems to believe everything you see from you know and they've had, they've had some of their off season stuff starting up now. Um, the last couple of weeks, like. You know, they seem to really believe in the O'Connell, you know, the O'Connell regime, his his schemes, his plans, like that. That's going to be, you know, your, your big improvement on offense is not going to be from necessarily new players. It's going to be from the coaching. And I and I agree. Like like I've said many times now, I'm incredibly excited to see a real offensive coach with the the talent that we already have on offense. You know, and you're always having to add, but I think we have the offensive talent already with nothing with, for the draft. If we, if we draft no, if we do draft zero offensive players, I think this offense is still going to be in a position to be one of the best in the league. I really do. Um, but we need that defense because, I mean, Anyone out there who has watched the Vikings the last two years knows that the defense was the issue. And, you know, obviously we will have new defensive coaching as well, but, um, you know, we still need a lot more talent on that side of the ball. So, you know, if I'm, if I'm running the draft, which I'm not, and you should all be very thankful that I'm not, uh, I would go, I would, you know, focus very strongly on defense. But it's always best player available. Best player available at any position of need. You know, because that's that's how you, that's how you find stars. You know, and you don't just win with stars, but you kind of need you, you need some you need some high end talent. So that's basically all I gotta say about that. Somehow I've rambled for almost twenty minutes, saying absolutely nothing. But uh, you know, be interested to see be uh, be an interesting draft uh, and. You know, of course, then you also have the, the follow up to the draft, which is, you know, OK, what did we not what did we not get? And now here's, you know, here's maybe the remaining free agents left out there. Maybe we'll go pluck a few guys. And I'm sure though, I'm sure that's still going to be a thing um, as it is every year. But, uh, you know, we will see. But I, I'm I'm. Very optimistic in general with this with the this new regime, and I'm really really optimistic that we're gonna see Kwesi just nail this thing and get us some get us some good players so we can uh, go get the North and get the get on a playoff run and get that trophy. Um. So yeah, let's go. Let's get some. Let's uh, let's do it, Kwesi. <laughs>